if you like modding Skyrim or you're a returning modder like myself, I, I used to uh, enjoy modding normal Skyrim and then Special Edition came out and I continued to... Uh, I'm already rambling. But uh, I continued to mod Old Rim, as we call it today. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I started modding Special Edition is that, oh, there's like fucking 50 patches and downloadable bug fixes and engine things for Special Edition. So if you don't want to be bothered with that, I would strongly say, hey, check out Wabajack. Uh, links will be in the description, right? And then once you've downloaded it and you double click and load it up, right? It looks like this. You go edit a GitHub repository or however it works. Uh, also, you've next premium is i think is required i'm not sure about that one uh because if you have nexus premium it downloads everything automatically you don't have to be there unless it at least if it's on nexus and it uses mods from nexus on other, other websites uh, you have to be there at least in the beginning and confirm and uh, follow the instructions but yeah regardless if you like fallout or skyrim or whatever uh oblivion there's lists of games here that people have uh, modded up and uploaded, and it's pretty much automatic. It does its thing. You can AFK for the most part, depending on what it is. Uh, so let's do a uh, special edition if I can fucking see it. There we go. And then let's unofficial is checked. And then you can just browse through the list here and see if there's something you like. You can give it a, a download or look it up on YouTube. See if someone's made a YouTube video on it. And uh, like for me, instance, I know this one looks interesting. Uh, living in Skyrim 4 or whatever. And um, I'm looking for Elmo Rim because that's the one I've covered on my channel a little bit which is which, which is good fun uh it's pretty vanilla but the combat's been i want to say remastered but it's been modded uh to be pretty fun in my opinion i i liked it a lot it has like elden ring animations and and parries and, and whatnot you can dodge lock on system nordic souls is something i kind of want to try out i haven't tried that one uh did i click the right fucking thing where is Char Grin? Am I blind? And do not go gentle? Ah, okay, they're not showing off for some reason. Which is excellent. We'll just do all then. And then there's also um, other games here too. Like Dragon's Dogma, Fall 4, Fallout New Vegas. There might be Tales of Two Wastelands, Mod List. This is an Oblivion one. Uh, oh, and it's been updated, I see. Because I have this one. And uh, there was a problem with the EMB that you needed to just manually drop the files in for that. Because it just, it wouldn't work. Now, there is an issue there sometimes. There will be an issue and you need to, like, either look up the error in the installer that you get. And maybe you're an experienced modder and you can figure it out really quickly and then just drop the files in and run it again. Bada bing, bada boom. Or most of these pages have um, discords you can join. And then you can look it up in the discord, ask questions. You can even ask for help. And I'm sure maybe there'll be someone who is willing to help you out. Okay, I, this is weird, but whatever. Uh, we'll just do this. Yeah, no matches. This is because I'm an idiot. What the fuck? That's... What? I'm confused. Normally when you click the show unofficial lists, it pops out with everything. And now there's just like a bunch of stuff missing for some reason. That's so weird. But regardless, uh, let's say you want do not go gentle. You click on this page here and then there will be a... Uh, instructions uh for you to follow like this one you should definitely check out the this one and um 
I suppose, uh, see if your computer is good enough, uh, for sure. But this one is normally pretty big. The page file, 40 gigabytes, uh, I'd say is a hard requirement for any modelist you want to set up and, and do for y yourself, absolutely. And, uh... That's absolutely something you should do. If it's the one step you should do on um, on the model list there is the page file, even if you ignore everything else. Now, secondly, there is something else called, if you don't want to use Wabajack, uh, there is something called Novus, which is also an auto-installer for one mod list. And that's what I've been playing on, on my channel recently. And, uh... I'm a big fan. It looks like this, but yours is going to be cleaned out, right? So you're going to, once you get the install up and running, you, once you've made your account and linked everything, I imagine, I don't remember, I did it in February, you'll click add instance and then you can select your settings here and then you can continue. It won't let me because I already have it. And there's more settings like enable cloth physics and if you want the Redux version or the full version and, and whatnot as well. Uh, this one, I'd say you need Nexus Premium, but I'm not sure. You might be able to sit and click yes on every mod, but you're going to have to be present. So I would suggest get Nexus Premium for one month, cancel it immediately, download, try out some mod lists, and go about your day. And I was hesitant to do this shit myself for a long time because I'm like, well, I, I've modded Fallout and Skyrim and all these games for years, and... I'm used to playing with 600 plus mods and whatnot and I blah 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 I could do a better job myself I thought and sure if I want to put the time in but it's also nice to just click instead of putting fucking weeks and months in to fine-tuning and making all the all the adjustments you can just browse your mod list look it up on YouTube or, or just download and play it for yourself and then you can delete it and move on or yeah it's yeah, at least I think it's a very good alternative. I've been pretty happy with it, and I think it is a far better option than Vortex Collections because the two collections I tried on Vortex, sure, they downloaded and they they started, but uh, <laughs> they ran horribly. I'm like, holy shit, who put this together? It runs so badly. So I feel like not the bad mouth vortex collections i'm sure there are some good collections but the ones i tried ran ran poorly as fuck and i was like wow okay <laughs> also it's vortex so um you were just better off with modern organizer too you're not gonna fuck your shit up and have to run into these issues with physical mods. Also, I'm not a Vortex user. I used Nexus Mod Manager back in the day, and I did that for a long time because I looked at MO2, and I'm like, eh, I was scared, right? I was intimidated. Once I made the switch, it was so much better. And now I've been using Mod Organizer 2 for years, and uh, I just think it's better not to be a snob, but if you have Vortex... And you're running 50 plus mods, it becomes like this whole fucking cob web, which is weird because the whole fucking point of Vortex, is, at least from my understanding in the beginning, was it's supposed to be simpler and easy to use. I don't think it's easy or simpler to use. It's confusing. It's uh, strange. It's, it's much better to use MO2 and just fucking have separators like this. Let me show you. That you just categorize and then they pop out. And then you just organize this. This is much simpler and they all show up here in the list and it's good to go. This is not my mod list, by the way, so. But yeah, I think this is just simpler. This is way more understandable <laughs> than Vortex collections and how hard it is to navigate. For for my, I from this is just my opinion. About sorry, I didn't mean to turn this into a Vortex rant, but I don't know how to use Vortex. Basically, I've used it like twice for Dragon's Dogma and Witcher Three, 
and then those two collections. And as soon as I saw, because I modded Witcher Tree before, uh, before the next gen update came out on PC, and I had like fifty five mods or something, it's on my Twitch channel. And it, uh, I noticed when I got up to that amount, I was like, uh, "This is confusing." And and then it asks you questions when you want to run it, and be like, "Ah, but dude, do, do you just take care of it?" Uh, and then obviously once I was done modding it, I saw, oh, you can do an MO2 as well. I'm like, fuck, I should have done that. It would have been so much easier. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. You should consider Wobblejack or Novus. They, they are auto installers. Makes it simple. Fucking just plug and play. It sucks that you need Nexus Premium, but uh, if you're a power modder with my mini mods, you probably have Nexus Premium anyway, so... I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.